Hello, Linda. Nice to see you. Hello, Olga. You're looking really, really well today. Thank you. Um, I have a question. Obviously, yes. you taught a lot of students, and um, I'm very curious, what are the main changes people had in their lives after your lessons? Because obviously, they changed their speech because of your lessons. And how, what impact it had on their lives? Well, funny you should say that, because I was thinking uh, back to all the different nationalities that I've been teaching who need to neutralise their strong accents. And almost invariably, the one thing that they all said after they'd finished the course was how much confidence they felt that they'd received. Well, it is pretty obvious when you think about it. The reason they came for lessons is they felt worried. Uh, people kept saying to them, sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. Uh, so they had no confidence at all. And that's why at the end of the course of the lessons, uh, all of them said, I do feel ready now. I feel ready to go out and look for jobs and do whatever I'm doing. And I won't be worried about people saying, could you say that again? Because I don't know what you're talking about. So confidence, number one. What I can tell from my uh, sort of experience is that I felt respect. Mm. When I improved my pronunciation, I felt that the people started to respect me. And it was very obvious. And that gave me, obviously, an extra layer of confidence. Yes, yes. Oh, respect is terribly important, especially in the world of business, you know, if you're looking for a, a, a good job in a certain profession. You've got to have the respect other people have got to owe you. Um, and there again, that's all tied up, not only with just losing the strong vowel sounds, but also I had pupils who could manage that. But then somehow I felt there was something lacking. Their speech was, they were also timid and, 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 and they didn't move their mouths much. They got the vowels right. But then I realised once we started to give them articulation exercises, their speech suddenly got sharper, crisper, and with that came extra confidence to give it the more power. So the two things combined, helping them get rid of the strong sounds, helping them make their speech crisp, just purely through exercising the speech organs, made a tremendous difference to their lives. Indeed, and also, again, I would like to, to add here, for me, the revolutionary knowledge was when you told me about the sentence stress and pauses, because I felt that, you know, my, my speech was very monotonous and boring. And then when you explained that to me, I felt, oh my God, this is so simple, but it's tremendously important, isn't it? It is, and, and I was surprised that when you first came, even though you're working well on your sounds, uh, you didn't use that stress and throw away. And, and I said to you, is that quite normal? And you said, well, yes, in Russia, we just sort of emphasise nearly all the words in a sentence. Yes, yes. But it's so easy once you realise that in English, if you just highlight the words that are important, and the others are not really important, and then we throw away, as you used to say, uh, is an actor's term uh, and don't worry about them and they would be much quieter and quicker usually than the stressed words which are the ones we want to hear yes and I remember when I was a student I struggled to sort of decide which are the important words but then the more practice I had with you uh, then it became very obvious and easy okay this is my main message and this is what I'm going to stress, and this is what I want other people to, to hear. And once you're aware of that, as you say, once you start to, to use it, and it's a good idea sometimes to pick up a, a newspaper or a book or something, and just take a few sentences and think, that's an important word, that's an important word, and then practice throwing away the unimportant words, it suddenly becomes part of your speech, doesn't it? Yes, yes, and uh, absolutely. And then now uh, I've noticed that when I speak even like in, to my friends, I, I know what to stress and I don't think about it no, anymore. Exactly. That's the same with learning all sorts of things in speech. The more you do it, the more you go into automatic pilot with it, which you do now. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, we see you in our next video and I hope that was useful. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.